From Hollywood, California, where people buy bottle service while being evicted from their studio apartment, it's the Josh Makuga Show. Tonight, Josh welcomes Trisha Hershberger and me, Roxy Stryer. And now your host, a guy who never had a teddy bear, but turned out okay just the same, Josh McCuga. All right, guys, welcome back to the Josh McCuga Show. Uh, before we get into it, you guys can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Subscribe to the channel here. We release an episode every other Wednesday. Uh, support us through our Patreon campaign. It really helps the show. Um, my guests tonight have both been on the show. Uh, I am big fans of both of theirs. One of them is actually the voice of the show, so you heard her announce herself before <laughs> this show started. And the other one, uh, her and I really became really, really good friends over Comic-Con, and uh, she's just one of the best. She's been on Between the Sheets. She's here now. Ladies and gentlemen, Trisha Hershberger and Roxy Stryer. Hi! We did it! We high five! Yay! Yay! Go fill my drink. Go <laughs> smell my drink. Um, thank you guys for being here. Big fans of both of you. I, I know. I'm yours. You asked us both back on. That's, yeah. wow. That's very cool for us that we were invited back. We mm -hmm. did a good job then. Like, I, it's cool of him, but it's also cool of us. Yeah. So we did not destroy the set. Right. Yes. Right. Good. Well, good. Do, if you guys want to after the show, we can light this thing on fire. I don't know. Oh. This set is beautiful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a two-bedroom apartment in Hollywood that just so happens to have a set in it. I love it. <laughs> I think it's brilliant what you've done. Yeah, thanks. Uh, it's not brilliant. It's a lot of trips to Home Depot okay. and just looking at the wall and uh, years of construction work as a laborer when I was a teenager. See, that's the part that I would have missed. I couldn't do it. I don't yeah. have that. Yeah. Um, so, okay, so since the last time we've been on here, uh, I feel like we've all, like, because your first time on here was the first time we met. Yeah. Your first time on Between That's the Sheets. That's like, emailed you out of the blue. Mm -hmm. uh, you were recommended to me for, I've known Roxy forever. I, feel, I mean, like, <laughs> yeah. since Schmo's days, whatever. That's true. But since then, we've all kind of, like, come up in this this internet world that we live in, beep right? Beep, 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 beep. Has there been a highlight for you, for you both thus far, since the last time you were on the show? That something has happened that you've been like, I'm doing something right. Oh, goodness. Do you have an answer to that? Yeah, you can uh, go first if you can think of one. If you've been following me recently, I've been doing a lot of pot stuff recently. What? And, what? Like, <laughs> uh, wait, wait, like, so I know I'm doing something uh, right. Like pots? No, like, like cannabis, like oh. smoking the pot. Okay. I, I, smoking the pot? Smoking okay, the pot. 90 year old Roxy. No, take it easy. I'm serious though. That's like. <laughs> How, all right, I'm only allowed to call it cannabis. I think that's oh. actually like I'm using okay. cannabis, um, Got it. both medically in some places and recreationally in others. Yeah. And I've been working for this company called Leafly, which mm -hmm. is the number one medical app that there is, but it's in the cannabis space. Really? And uh, I think that that's pretty cool because I'm combining some of my passions. And a lot of the people I meet are huge comic book nerds, which is oh, awesome. Uh, because of cannabis and comic books go hand in hand. Yeah, makes uh, sense. So, so this has been one of my favorite things that I've been doing. How, how do they find you for this kind of thing? <laughs> yeah. I, like Honestly, when, when is a whiskey company going to find me and they're like, hey, Blackout McGee. That might happen. Do it your show. I mean, and then how are they going to hire me as the co-host of that? Because yes. Blackout <laughs> McGee Jr. over here. So, Josh, we're going to send you around the country and you're going to try whiskeys all around. And I was like, what? Oh, my gosh. That's, that's so like cool. a dream job. That's right? so cool. Exactly what happened, though. It was fucking wild. Like, they reached out uh, to this agency where this guy who I've known since I was a little kid was like, I know the perfect person for this. I'm her agent. Spoiler alert, he's God. not. <laughs> um, Spoiler alert, but he's I mean, making money off me. Good flow. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know if I'm actually technically supposed to say that, because still to this day, they think he is. Um, oh, wow. But I booked the job. They've been sending me around all over the Pacific Northwest, and I went over to Arizona, and they've just been flying me around to learn about cannabis and smoke cannabis, which has been... That's amazing. You know what? The, Interesting. The, the hard part, okay, and I, and I, I don't know if you smoke, uh, but... I, I have. I have. You've dabbled. You dabble. I, I have. <laughs> Since the introduction of medical marijuana uh, in the world, I guess, especially here in California, is mm -hmm. I've never been like I was. I really got. I started getting high, uh, smoking pot, like pretty young. And then, okay. I, and then I was over it by the time I got to college. And then since You're so like, cool, bro. Yeah, I'm, 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 yeah, I was smoking pot. Before <laughs> it was cool. Was cool. Um, I edibles are like the funniest shit ever because. 
Back in the day, you'd like smoke high and get high, yeah. and then edibles, you're like, I don't think I'm that high, and then all of a sudden, you're in the middle of the road you're screaming, way too help high. me, help me, um, help me. I was at Disneyland with a friend, <laughs> and I taken an edible for like the first time in my life. And it was at one of those, Disneyland? yeah, because I thought it'd be awesome. No. Because I was like, this is going to be great. But I didn't, That's a negative. I didn't know that edibles sneak up on you mm. like that, and then get super potent. So I just thought, like, you know, like when you smoke a J, and you have like a hit or two and you're Smoking feeling good it. and then like you have a hit or two again later when you need a little more but like I I am like a one hit wonder it doesn't take a lot same so I ate this like tiny piece of this candy bar so I think and for the next like two hours I'm like oh man I didn't eat enough I'm totally not feeling it I'm on like bugs life and I'm like <laughs> uh, and I start to be like oh this is pretty cool if there was a ride okay, yeah. Pop, it's bugs life. yeah oh. but I was like just starting so I was like bugs life was awesome and I start going through but let me just tell you by the time I got to Pirates of the Caribbean, I thought I was going to die. <laughs> like, I was saying to my friend, I was like, I swear to God, I'm going to OD. And he was like, you can't OD you on can't pots, OD. stupid. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, no, I'm going to be the first person ever. Like, it's happening to me now. And I'm like, in line for Pirates. And I'm thinking to myself, OK, I'm going to get to the front of the line. She's going to ask me how many people in my party. What am I going to say? Oh, my God. Oh, uh, I'm going to say two. I'm going to get to the front of the line, and I'm going to say two. And I'm, like, having this conversation with myself for, like, 15 minutes till I get to the front of the line, and she asked me how many of my party, and I'm like, two, because I rehearsed there it. Two. I know and then I two. got into the boat, and I was like, oh, thank God I made it in the boat. And then the boat ride was awesome, and then it's, like, the end of the boat ride, and I'm like, I gotta get out of this boat. <laughs> How am I gonna get out of this boat? Like, it was the worst. When you're by the by, I've only been to Disneyland one time in what? my life thus far. And it just so happened maybe like four months ago, okay? I'm not a Disneyland person. I'm not like happiest guy in the world. Happiest, again, I've said it before, happiest place in the world for me is a bar at 2 a.m. and I'm just like trending towards blackout. There is and, nothing worse than somebody who says, I'm not a Disneyland person. What the fuck does that mean? What does that okay, mean? I, I used to not date Hold a guy on. if he wasn't a Disneyland yeah, what does person. That mean? I was like, um, I don't like to have fun. I don't love roller whoa, coasters. Whoa, I don't like whoa. going places where everybody's happy. Like, are you kidding first me? First of all, first of all, not everybody is happy at Disneyland. And you're you seen the them. families in line? Dad, I don't like this line. I don't like, shut up! You <laughs> shut your mouth! We're staying in line! I spent $100 on tickets. Don't shut your mouth! Please, please. Okay, first of all, the rides aren't that good. The, the, okay, Hi. the Star Wars one, that's basically Space Mountain, Space Hy Hyperspace Mountain, funny. Awesome. Blast. Uh, the one about mm -hmm. the mountain, really fun. Other than that, Pirates of the Caribbean is just a slow boat ride hey. with, with, with hey. animatronic Hey, hey, hey. Sorry, okay. There's magic there. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's the part that you're missing. I second mm -hmm. that. If you want thrill rides, go to Magic Mountain. Sure. Wonder Woman's wig is on Cricket, uh, but you'll have a great time on the coasters. Okay. But I if feel you, you on want that. magic, you go to Disney. Yeah, and it's right next to California Adventure, which yeah, has really sick rides too. And they just yeah. updated Soarin', which is cool. And they're taking down Tower of Terror, Stop and they're building all this stuff. Like a radio commercial. <laughs> and, okay, well, but they do the food and wine festival where you can do free wine and beer tastings yeah. with your park admission all week, which is amazing. Really, really chill. Uh, but I feel you. Know you. That when I started this episode, they would be pitching me, and you guys now work for Disney. <laughs> I worked for Disney I would for years. <laughs> <laughs> They We're the worst couch for you to be dissing yes. Disney. The actual worst. But I feel you on taking an edible and being a place that you don't want to be and it being really nerve-wracking because I took an edible and I walked to get frozen yogurt, which should be a really short venture. And I got there and got on top of the counter, which had all the toppings in it, and I just laid down and started... <laughs> like poo bearing toppings into my mouth and they were like oh excuse me uh, ma'am what, <laughs> what are you doing and i was like what the fuck are you doing in my apartment and they were like um you're at 21 choices and that was probably my biggest nightmare i had to get carried out of there wow and then i sit and, and i watch uh Do great you guys lightning know how this, how this for a whole long time thing started was i asked how things are going in your <laughs> careers thus far. And Pretty well. Gone through Disney we did that one. Eating, <laughs> basically <laughs> raping a uh, tasting counter poo at, a, at a poo yeah. bearing. Poo bearing. Mm -hmm. Yes, correct. Uh, <laughs> convincing me that Disneyland is somehow a good place to be. It is did we a do a good job? Place. Yeah, I think I think you've done a hell of a you job. You should go Thank back you. again. Yeah, it's really nice. Did you think of yours? What's it's your... a really good time. No, not I, about I, Disney. Well, oh, about careers. <laughs> um, I do not work at Disney since the last time I was on Between the Sheets. That was before that. Um, no, I, my life has been actually, you know what's cool about my career right now 
is that for the first time in my life, I'm not under an exclusivity contract. Oh, there you go. That's awesome. Like, since I started working in YouTube, I was very fortunate to be working a lot, but I was working a lot under contracts that had non-competes and exclusivity clauses. So I couldn't really dabble and go out a lot, which is why it took me so long to meet you. It took me yeah. forever to meet you because it was only really when I started having flexibility in those contracts that I could go out and guest on other things. And now I'm to the point where I can actually, like, Go host shows in other places. Do you want to hear so funny? my non-compete is no more. Yeah. Since, since I've known you, one of my favorite stories about you. So we, we did our episode of it the machines, and maybe like a couple months later, I walked into Defy, and I was with a friend, <laughs> and you come walking through, and he was like, "Hey, that's Trish Harshberger," and and you, and I was like, "Trish," and you're like, "Josh," and, and you're like, "Ah, I knew you, you would know her." And I was like, <laughs> "Bing bang boom." You're, you're like, like, "I do this show where yeah. I invite ladies from the internet on my show. I, I like know ladies on too. the internet." <laughs> It's not porn, Trish. I don't know that I've ever seen it between the sheets with a dude. I trust you that it happens, but just the episodes. All the time. He's in the crowd right now. But the episodes that I've seen, I haven't seen your episode yet. The episodes that I've seen have all been ladies. Well, I bring on ladies and dudes, all the same. Okay. I love them both. Uh, I'm not, that's weird. I shouldn't. (laughs) Can can we take that out? Can we cut that part? Yeah, let's (laughs) Rewind. (laughs) All right, we're not going to cut that. Uh, let's, go <laughs> tonight, let's go to tonight's game. Okay. It's called I Need a Hero. I invented superheroes in here. So oh. what I'm going to do is you guys pick out a superhero name, and then uh, you invent what their superpower, pa- superpowers? superpowers are. Like what they pee? Like what comes out, the superpowers. Superpowers. Oh. Superpowers, and then we're going to these up. You guys can pick them. Trish, you go first, then Roxy, then Trish. Uh, you don't have to like reach across. Trish can reach one for you. Okay, I've That's got awesome. I've got really short arms, so it could yeah. be fun to see. You could go go gadget arm it right across me. That's true. It'd be really okay. good. Mm-hmm. Okay. Here you go. Do I just get yeah. to? Go ahead. I'm just gonna get in there. You got it. You got them good hands, girl. <laughs> I don't know what that means. That's like you got that Becky with the good hands. Oh, yeah. speaking of peeing superheroes. I just pulled out rest stop man. Rest man, stop man, 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 yeah. man, man. He's, uh, he's on like the Pennsylvania Turnpike. You're driving with your family. Oh, the Pennsylvania Turnpike. The, the you need those rest stops, baby. What does he do? I feel like rest stop man has this incredible power where he, um, he wiggles his butt. Ooh. And a rest stop can appear out of nowhere. Out of his butt? Yeah, I, well, I'm like sure, yeah, it, it comes out of his butt. I thought he wiggled his butt, and that's, like, what spurred it on, but it can come out of his butt, oh, okay. too. Wait, sure. more importantly, though, what is a butt wiggle? Like, squeezing, like, tensing, or more like, um, more like a twerk? Like a twerk. Yeah, like, like a, a, I was picturing a very bad twerk. Oh, like an attempted twerk. An attempted twerk. But maybe, like, horizontal instead of vertical. So, like, when you... Oh, oh. Like a, oh. Like a duck. <laughs> I know that. I know that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, so, like, a duck bottle, so for he, sure. And, 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 and then a rest stop pops up. So, if you're somewhere, as we've all have been on oh, many occasions, oh. where there's no place to pee, and you're considering, pop, like, popping a squat, or, like, what am I going to do? I really have to go. You call on rest stop, man, 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 man. man and man, he man. comes <laughs> and wiggles his butt, and all of a sudden, there's a rest stop there. Perfect. Saving the day. What else does now, rest stop man well, do? Does the rest stop have a Cinnabon or perhaps an Auntie Anne's? It could Ooh. have or a TCBY. all of those What things. is TCBY? <gasps> Frozen yogurt, Pooh Bear. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No. Good callback. Well done. That's yes. what it has. Well, let's hear it for rest stop man. Rest huh? stop man. I think he sounds delightful. All right. Let's, let's pick one for Roxy. Okay. You didn't want me to practice the short arms? Here, you Do know what? Job. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fan these out. Oh, oh. nice. There you go. Oh, this one's really situation. fat. This one's skinny. Now I feel like I don't know. I'll go with the medium. Okay. You're like a, like a gangbang. <laughs> what? <laughs> this one's fat. This one's skinny. This one's oh. Oh, you mean original Nintendo. It's original I, Nintendo hockey. I was thinking like um, yeah, Goldilocks. Oh, yeah, yeah. That too. You know, too yeah, hot, too so cold, yeah, just yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. We should cut that. Um, okay. <laughs> Mick Hammerhead Shark. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. <laughs> um, McHammerhead Shark Man or McHammerhead Shark? McHammerhead Shark. McHammerhead Shark. Oh, wow. I like that. So, this, this is a female. Ooh. Okay. And any time that she says, stop hammer time, oh. all of a sudden she has fins like a shark 
and she can like almost like fly through things like it's water. Like she cuts through and they're kind of sharp and she'd be like, ha ha, cha, me, it's hammer time and whatever it is like that. But like with the She chop, sounds terrifying. With the chopping, but she has, say she has to say stop. <laughs> Hammer time, or even if she doesn't say it, if it just says it in the room, and then she becomes like a '90s wedding. Yeah, and she cuts through, shut, shut, cut, shut. Whoa, oh, like that. So if you man. need her, you could call on her by saying "Stop hammer time." Yes, yes, absolutely. Dang. Stop hammer time. She, and then here she comes, like yeah. you know, she's out, lost at the sea, at the sea, lost at sea, and then stop hammer time. And then she comes up, she saves you, or like you're you're being attacked at sea, and like stop hammer time. Here comes McCammerhead, yeah. Lady McCammerhead. Yeah, she she'd have to be in a lot of places at once because I feel like a lot of people say stop hammer time. Do yeah. They? Where are you hanging out? <laughs> in my circle of friends, which you are in, sir. <laughs> Wait a second. First of all, you're a millennial. Like Did, you're a true millennial. MC Hammer was way before your does time. Does she travel mm. through time? No. I'm now she of, does. I'm tired of time traveling superheroes. I'm over it. Really? There's so many time traveling superheroes. Everything is time travel. I'm days. judging like, you. Oh crap, I forgot to save the town. Better go back in time. So you're just mm-hmm. talking about now, the Flash right now. Yes, that's, that's only it. what you're talking about. Do you about. not like time traveling superheroes because you don't like the loopholes or are you just, you're over Well yeah, because it's like, think about it like this, okay? If, 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 the, what happened was an actual consequence. They're like, no, 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 we can go back in time and save it. But the rest of the timeline might be a little screwed up. Mm-hmm. I love that somehow we're discussing time travel loopholes yeah. right now. <laughs> that is what we've got to do. All right, let's do two more. Each of you guys get okay. one more. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. This one says, the Bubblegum Brothers. <laughs> Uh, Ooh, perfect! You guys are two people. The, you guys can be the bubblegum ladies. The bubblegum brothers. Sisters. sisters. Yes. <laughs> uh, there are there are bubblegum brothers and bubblegum sisters, and I would like to say that the bubblegum sisters are the bubblegum brothers' arch nemesis. Oh, oh, we're not actually their sisters. Yeah. No, no we're no. each other's sisters. We're each other's sisters. And yeah. You were, you were formed in order to fight the bubblegum brothers. Yeah. Got, got, but what, but go, what do go, we do? Go, 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 go. So <laughs> we chew gum all the time and yeah. instead of needing to have like elastic limbs or superpowers in our bodies we have developed scientifically a super bubble gum that can do all that for us so like we want to climb up walls like spider-man chew our bubble gum spit it on our hands we're up that wall. Whoa. Yeah, we've invented this amazing bubble gum. We I get can use it. it for whatever we want. We want to trap somebody, chew our bubble gum, blow a bubble, pop it on them. It's like a net. And sister, what you didn't know about me was in fourth grade, I won a bubble blowing contest. So Girl. I actually could blow us a bubble that we could jump on and bounce. Perfect. Bounce to the top, too. Like a blob. Perfect. Like, yeah, I'm like a blow it and then. Or like I could just throw you yeah. up there. You could bounce. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, sisters. Damn. That's oh, awesome. Sisters. So the bubblegum sisters, you gotta that, watch you know what's out. what's great about the bubblegum sisters? You guys always smell delightful. Yeah, we do. We do. What's the flavor? They have great breath. You know, like bubblegum uh, smells really it's good. It's that old double bubble flavor. Double bubble. Uh, double yeah, bubble gum. Yeah, that's double good. Bubble. That's a good sure. flavor. Like a big mm-hmm. tube of just straight bubble gum. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, at Roxy, <laughs> you're bubble last trouble? One. Double bubble trouble? Double bubble trouble? Double bubble trouble? I think trouble, made, double bubble. Trouble, double bubble. Was there a trouble on there? I don't know. I might just be putting in the trouble because we bring the trouble. Pick a card, any card. Uh, Pick a card, any card. Okay. There's more options this time. There you go. Oh, but I think that one said Nutella on it. I'm kind of sad that I didn't. missed that one. <laughs> this one is Mama's Man. Oh, Mama's Man. This is interesting. Oh, sounds, sounds like a few people I've dated. This is a, an <laughs> interesting like one. Uh, yeah, like my mom. She's my favorite person. Okay. Mama's Man actually has a really hard backstory oh, wow. um, and Mama's Man has been through the ringer oh, no. but Mama's Man is able to take shape he's a shapeshifter Ooh. of anybody's son so whatever he looks like all the things he's been through it doesn't matter because he just can come in and he can take shape of your son so he's having conversations Whoa. to you but he's actually not your son he's Mama's Man Whoa. yeah That's wow. my drop my so job. what? What so is he's he... messing things up because he's going into family dynamics, and you know there's the son, and the son's like a really good guy, and then he he stashes him somewhere because he's jealous of all these people who've had good lives, you know, because he's mm. really had the hard life, and Great. so he goes in there and he pretends to be their son. He's like, yeah, mom, I got it, I got the meatloaf, and then he goes to get the meatloaf and he burns the whole house down. So On he's purpose. a villain he's too. A, yeah, he's a villain. Quick, I thought he was gonna save the day. No, no, he's a villain. No, mama's he's, man. He's super jealous of yeah. the kids that have like. Because he never had nice a mom, life. so he's mama's man. Mm. He would, yeah. So he's he's had a 
Yeah, he's had a real wow. turn. He's had a, it's, wow. It's been it's rough for him. Mama's really mom, mom, mom's man sounds mama's really. Mama's man. Uh, mama's man. I think I read it right. Yeah, mama's sad. Yeah, it's mama's sad, man. But I, I feel for mama's man. I feel yeah. for him too. And I feel for you guys uh, mm-hmm. as part of the Josh McCuga show. <laughs> guys, uh, we'll be right back after a word from our sponsor. <laughs> Hey, Josh McCuga Show fans. When I go out, I never know what hat to wear. Like, am I supposed to wear this hat? I don't know, this doesn't look right. Like, am I supposed to wear this hat? I don't think so, am I a 20s gangster or a newsie? Doesn't really make sense, what about this hat? Ah, it's too, it's California and I'm not Russian. You know, when I go out, I don't like to wear hats, I like to drink them. Like Magic Hat. Magic Hat beer. It's not a hat, it's beer. All right, welcome back, guys, to the Josh McCuga Show. Um, follow me on Instagram and Twitter, at Josh McCuga. We release episodes every other Wednesday right here on the channel. A lot of bonus content coming out soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, tell everybody just about the show. Like, if you you know, if uh, you were, like, going through a Starbucks and you're like, I want to pay it forward and pay for the other person's coffee, when you pay for the coffee, write, like, the Josh McCuga Show on it and then send it back. There you go. <laughs> uh, my guests tonight, Roxy Stryer and Trisha Hirschberger, have convinced me that uh, they need a hero. So I'm going to open okay. the old box of tricks here yes. and explain to you, you guys. Get to play too. I wrote these heroes uh, on these whilst maybe, uh, you know. That's okay, even better because you had go. longer to think about it. I did, I did. So we expect more from your That's origin you story. That's you thinking that he remembers what the hell he wrote okay, on here those. We go. <laughs> <laughs> it's, his name is Don't Even Worry About That Man. Wow. Mm. Now here's what happened with Don't Even Worry About That Man. It's like, he's always been everybody's best bud, right? He's like, don't even yeah. worry about that, man. And okay. uh, there was, a, as, as in most superhero stories, original stories, there was a local scientist who was, who was doing some local experiments. And don't even worry about that man who was a local pizza delivery guy whilst working his way through law school. Mm-hmm, makes um, sense. He's a really nice guy, comes from a really good family, but his family's a little down their luck and they're waiting for him to come out and be a lawyer. But uh, he's going around and he's delivering a pizza to the local scientist and something goes wrong in the lab. And don't even worry about it, man becomes everybody's, like he's, he solves their problems, wow. right? And he's just, he, he is the solution to everybody's problem. Like he comes in the thing, don't even worry about that, man. Like a, a woman, their dinner is five ninety five, but they only have four fifty. He puts in the other buck. What a good guy. Buck 45 to yeah, pay for their sense. dinner, yeah. right? Uh, a family, uh, so there's a wedding coming up around town, right? And and uh, it do, they don't have, the limo doesn't show up. All of a sudden, don't even worry about it. Man shows up with the limo, picks everybody Whoa. up, takes them right to the wedding. The wedding is kind of lame when he gets there. Nobody's dancing. Don't even worry about it, man. Gets on the dance floor. And the, do you remember? 25 September. September. <laughs> don't even worry about it, man. It's like... Don't even worry about it, man. And then I show up just like your guy. Rest up, man, man, man. Correct. Rest up, man, 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 man. Yeah. Don't even worry about it, man, 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 man. So you say, don't even worry about it, man. I'm like Beetlejuice. I show right up and I solve the problem. I have the solution. I just Whoa. wish that his catchphrase instead was, no worries, man, so we could. Uh, I'm not Australian. Yeah. Don't even worry about it, man. Wait, it's wait, what? No, no worries wor- is no Australian. Worries, man. Yeah, no worries. Mike, cheese, huh? I say no worries all the time. Me too. I'm Australian. You You are? I feel like no worries. Let's get a consensus (laughs) from the producers in the room. Did no worries start in Australia? Seems like an L.A. thing to me. L.A. thing? I'm going to go Aussie. I'm going to go Aussie. Aussie. I'm going to go Aussie. Somebody call uh, Alicia Malone and Mon Garrett right now. <laughs> Get them on the phone. No worries. Ah, cheers. All right. That was I Need a Hero. Uh, awesome. Guys, here we go. Great job, Josh. Uh, yeah. I think both of you are great. And uh, I want to know Uh-oh. what it would take. Let's, let's just talk. Let's talk love and relationships. Oh. Uh, what would what what was like? Because I know both of you have men in your lives. Yeah. Um, what was like the special thing that your man did to grab your attention? That was like, you know what? This guy seems like somebody I should stick around for. This is instead a good of, one. This is like instead of you know like because I, I I have a lady in my life and she's amazing, but there you know like there was something everybody else was like, what was it about her that did? Yeah. It, right. So what was it about your guys that that did it? Let's start with you, Josh. go go. Okay, my uh, my story. I was actually just telling Josh recently. Um, but it was our second date, 
and um, he he came at me with a with a thirty questions date, and he had said, you know, we're gonna prepare for this date, um, which I think to most women would probably be like. Oh my God. Running for the hills. Yeah, this guy wants me to do homework before our second date. I'm out. But I'm crazy. Uh, <laughs> so I was like, okay, well, he's definitely putting effort in. That's a major difference from a lot of guys in LA I've gone out with that just want me to come chill at their house because that takes them effort to move <laughs> off their couch to get the door and come back to their couch. Mm -hmm. So I was like, this guy's putting thought into a date. So no to, Love no it. to other dudes. Good. Don't call the old, hey, you want to come over and hang out date? That's bad. Hey, well, don't do it all the time. Oh, Every now and then, there's a great night for like, let's get in PJs and have like breakfast for dinner and watch some Netflix, and that's awesome. Yeah. But that can't be all the time. Girl. Not before the third date happens. Yeah, like that. That can't be all the time. Yeah, that seems so like four this was like in. a second date that was like crazy planned, and I'm a crazy planner too. Oh, okay. And the whole idea behind the date was like, you type up a list of questions no one should ask on a first date, and I'll type up a list of questions no one should ask on a first date. We'll send them to each other ahead of time, so there's no whammies. We know what to expect and then we're just going to go to happy hour and play this card game and for every hand that somebody loses you have to answer a question off the other person's sheet this is somebody who got burned a few times yeah He's like i'm not fucking doing this yeah. anymore and we both went into it I with that attitude say, did you guys just sell this movie starring josh hartman and Catherine Harper, like, <laughs> 2003 like what, what, what no this? but we went out and we were we were both like look straight up dating in la is awful it's the worst. i hate everybody yeah. i've had my time wasted and my heart broken tons of times like we were both on the same page and we were like if we ask each other these questions and it doesn't seem like it's gonna work you're a nice person. It's been lovely getting to know you, but we can walk away from this without heartbreak. Can you give me examples of what you asked? Yeah. yeah. So, and that was really telling too, like what our questions yeah. were, because it said a lot about the person. So, by golly, uh -huh. oh. both of us, oh, both of us, the first question was, "Are you a planner?" Which was oh. hilarious. Number because one question. Number with, one on the list. Did you come in with like a trapper keeper full of plans of like? No, but like I am, I am a very like Look, scheduled. Did you out. use the word trapper keeper? Yeah, because I'm a millennial. Oh. I, I, had, I didn't even think it was weird. That's how into your trapper keeper reference I was. Uh huh. Um, but yeah, like I, I'm a very things need to be this way kind of person or else I kind of get like nervous ticks and that's who I am and when I date someone who's not like that who's laid back I drive them crazy they drive me crazy mm -hmm. it's not good so I know I have to know that I need to date someone that can at least understand where I'm coming from on that otherwise they just think I'm nuts which I mean I am a little but in him I found we're someone all, else who is nuts as we've said in before, the same way we've all said we're all a little nuts we're all a little nuts it's Correct. who's nuts you can deal with Correct. <laughs> um, sorry Zing. you thought about I didn't before. I didn't uh, ask who's nuts I can deal with on the second date that was not a question oh. um, but no the other questions were like um, do you have any STDs how do you feel about religion what are your long-term wants out of life do you see yourself always living in LA? So, like, hold on one second. Things that like you don't get until like six months to a year in usually, but by that point you're like invested, and then you try to like square peg round hole it, and it turns into That's broken hearts said. and lots of tears for everybody. That square peg said. round hole it, I believe, was a. Never mind. I already <laughs> made a joke about that one. That's what uh, she said. So yeah. I feel like uh, she made a tag team next time said. on the jokes. It. Like I'll do I the first part. Yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> Um, you stuck me over here. Yeah, so. no, but wait, let me let me ask you a question. Yeah. Okay. So he he sent you this email or a text or whatever. Yeah. Let's do a thirty question second date. Yeah. And and all these questions were brought up. First of all, that would freak me out. It would freak out most people. But did you? So you knew at this point the fact that he that he suggested that you're like you know what this guy's kind of fun. I'm gonna go with this. I was like he's playing a like, game no, which just, I dig. He put thought into it, which I dig. He was pre-planning, which I dig. So like at this point already, I was like, yep. these are all good signs for someone who could potentially be a match for me. Now granted, if he answered my questions, have you ever been in jail? Do you have any STDs? You know, whatever, all a certain way, it would have been a no match. Right, but right. Wait, was it ended up being okay. Well, I just wanted to know what you might have been in a jail for. I don't want to be surprised with that, like, two years yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, hey, probation's over. Let's get married. <laughs> right. right. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Let me ask you a question. Like, yeah. Let's just say you just met a dude. Because, first of all, <laughs> if a girl, if a girl, if I just met a girl and say, let's go on a date where I ask you 30 questions, you'd be like, oh, yeah, hold, oh, I'm going through a tunnel right now, and then never call her back. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. mm -hmm. that's, like, that's never going to freaking happen. Yeah. Right. right? I, 
I mean, you know when you watch a movie and you're looking at something and you're like, oh, that's romantic and sweet, and then you think about if it actually happened in your life and you're like, I would just off myself right yeah. then and there. That's one of those right. things. If I saw that in a movie, I'd think, oh, this is a great start to a rom-com. Yeah. Catherine Heigl and whatnot. You, you legitimately just wrote a movie on this show. Yeah. It, it should be called 30 First Questions. It's adorable. And it's, it's, it's basically, it would be a great stage play. It would be an That'd amazing be one act, uh, like restaurant style movie where they ended up, they started out in love and it was like, oh my god, I'm so into this guy, like girl. And it's like, it, the movie starts out in New York, and like they're both walking. So it's like Josh, Josh Hartnett, and he's walking with like a Chris O'Donnell, and they're like, dude, like, yeah. did you meet this girl? And I was like, oh man, I did. And I'm like, kind of into her, like she's really cute, she's really fun. But she asked me like this 31st question. They said, let's go over our 31st questions, and then it splits to you. You're like Catherine Heigl and I like see, Jennifer Goodwin, right? And mm. you guys are doing your thing, and you're talking. And they're going one. over their questions. That's Act One. You okay. get to dinner. That's Act Two. Yeah. And then the breakup or the walk off and the sunset is Act Three. You just walk. You either. Has Gonna go. I don't know. I feel like some well, people. You're married now some people. I am. Guy. I am to that so, yeah, person. So that's how it goes. So that's how it goes. That's a, well. That but, but it's like a choose said, your own adventure. We're both nuts. It's but, a choose your own adventure. This is a very. Can I ask a question? Yeah, too, yeah. Maybe too personal of a question, sure. but was that like a huge panty peeler for you? Because now that you know all this information, like you're Wait, either you gonna fuck this a guy. Panty peeler. Panty peeler. Panty peeler. Oh, panty peeler. peeler. Sure. Like after you know all this about the guy, you're either gonna fuck him or you're not. You know. So it's kind of like. There well, goes. and so. Lindsay's from Boston, by the way, guys. That's no. And I mean she's. Right, like uh-huh. so. The first date, he tried to kiss me, and I gave him the cheek, which he never lets Ooh, me live down. Um, but I, you know, I was going on a lot of first dates. I didn't want to make out with everybody in LA, so I gave him the cheek. Go, go. Um, but then the second, second Hold date, on, let's rewind that. Bricka, bricka, bricka. I'm gonna George Costanza. Beep, beep, beep. Back <laughs> it up. So you were making out with a lot of dudes at that point. No, I was. Like, oh, I okay, was not. No. I was going Does out it. on a lot of first dates, and, and I didn't want to make out with everybody. Trisha Hirschberger, give him the cheek. Yeah, I gave the cheek. Mm -hmm. Um, And, uh, but after the questions date, I was like, all right, I like this dude. And so then I was like trying to get him to kiss me at the end of the date, but he was like a little pissed about getting the cheek on the first date. So he intentionally was like, great to meet you. Like, wonderful date. I'll see you when you get back from Comic-Con. This was right before Comic-Con. Do you think he didn't like the answer to your question? No, he just thought that if I was going to withhold, then he was fine withholding too. Um, Which was, yeah. But then I was like pissed that he didn't kiss me, mm-hmm. and he, but we had discussed. One of his 30 questions was, why did you give me the cheek on the first date, so. Ooh, nice, I yeah. like that, solid. And did you say, because I don't want to make out with everybody yeah, in LA? Yeah, I because I don't want to make out with everybody in LA, and you know, right now I'm getting to know people, and so that's why at the end of the second date, he was like, okay, I'm not gonna push for it then. Because he's respectful, but then I was, you know, I was like, I fiddled with my keys, dumbass. Like I was waiting for you to kiss me. Means make out sex. It totally it means you're waiting for well, it. I, 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 don't yeah. wanna, I don't wanna cut you off. I'm no, I wanna I wanna hear what yours is. Uh, but we are running short on time. Oh, what's your, you what's your panty, wait, what's your panty peeler, movement. real quick? What's my panty peeler? Yeah, what does it for you? What makes it be like this guy? Ooh, baby. Uh, I like somebody who makes my life easier. Well, and yeah. and my boyfriend does ways? that. Um, just like does shit that helps, you know, doesn't add things to my life, instead takes away things. So it's like, you know, bringing you things that make your days easier, having conversations with you that help your so days. he's a busboy, he takes things away. No, <laughs> he's, he's just Aww, very just appreciative of my time and like it will help me however he can. And that's yeah, something can. I really appreciate. And I would that's like good. to think I'm on the flip side of things. I make my girlfriend's life worse. Mm. Uh, via phone calls and asking for things, and she makes my life way better by just sticking around. So I'm the Aww. you. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And she's the him. Correct. Great. Correct. We're doing yes. a really good we're job. Crushing we're it. crushing yeah. it. There you go. Thank win, you. win. Trisha yeah. Hershberger, Roxy Stryer, guys. We're gonna go into the deep end. It's the point. Of, uh, we talk about the, the personal stuff, the stuff in, in life where you know um, it matters a little bit or it doesn't matter. Okay. If you don't want to answer the question, you can say pass. If you do want to answer it, you have to. If you say pass, I will judge you, and uh, that's that. Stop. Stop. Hammer time. Stop. Do that again. Oh, so Trisha, like uh, this, this show is going really well, and uh, stop. Hammer time. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Nailed it. All right, wheel of destiny. Wheel of destiny. On. Oh, best worst date you've ever been on. Okay. I just told my best. You did. That was your best date ever? I loved it. She did. I'm a cra- I'm a crazy though. I'm a crazy. It was my best. My was worst date my worst date was going out with a guy that halfway through the date was like, Wait, you mean you didn't Google me? And he was dead serious. So that was my worst date. <laughs> 
Dude, yeah. Dude, give me best and worst, Rox. Give that's, me best and that's worst. That's rude. Right? <laughs> yeah, you didn't Google me? That's rude. I was like, no, dude, I was hoping to get to know you from I this date, like... but that, you know, whatever. So my worst date, it's, it's still got to be the fart guy. Oh, uh, yeah. Remember from my first um, Between yes. the Sheets? Yeah. Wait. But I have an update on that. Oh, nice. Okay. I have so an update first on Between that. the Sheets, go back and watch uh, yeah. Roxy's episode of Between the Sheets talking about a guy she went on a date with and he farted on her uh, as like, a, as like fuck you for not calling me back. He met Sonata Barn and farted <laughs> on her. Yeah. So now we're an update on that. Yeah. So <laughs> he did. He farted on me. Um, I'm gonna say like three months ago he texted me. Ooh. And was like, was it a text emoji of like a guy running with wind behind him? <laughs> no. See uh, what I did there, guys. I do. Yeah. I do see. Uh, it's so. not as good as I like the one when you do the guy jumping in the hole. Though. Yeah, the guy. In the hole it's really, really smart. That's yeah. clever. Thanks. Um, he texted me like, "Hey girl, what's up? What are you doing?" That's it. And the last time I saw him, he farted on me. <laughs> so I was like, who, I didn't know who it was. And I was like, who is this? And he just had a normal conversation with me. He's like, do you want to get together sometime? And I was like, no, you farted on me the last time I saw you. <laughs> Did you say that? Yes. Are, are you kidding me? And he didn't respond. And that was the whole, and that's that my whole that. update on that. Okay. Oh, um, wow. So that's still got to be the worst date because, I mean, are you kidding? Was he it farted. like in, in a sexy situation he farted on you? No, no. no like like he was mad at me because he saw me with another guy after I hadn't seen him for months. And we, we hadn't dated in like six months. And he came up to me and farted on me <laughs> and was like, you broke my heart. Fuck you. Actually, he said, eat my shit, and then turned around and farted on me. But I tell the longer story on my first episode of Between yeah. the Sheets, which and you guys Ross should go watch. Yeah, yeah. yeah um, so that was probably the worst. I don't know, best, I, I'm like, I went on a lot of dates. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, I've been on some, I've been on some fun ones for sure. I've been, like, a lot of guys like to take you a lot of places, but it's most fun when somebody you like. Um, I think one of the fun ones, I went on a, uh, a couple dates with this guy um, from New York who was awesome, and afterwards, uh, he sent me ribs because on the date we were supposed to go get ribs. It was really late at night though because I got off super late and the place was closed. Oh, no. And so when I got back to LA, um, there were ribs waiting for me, which I thought was really That's cute. That's really cute. Yeah. I would have and sent you a skeleton. I'd be like, oh, no, all right. <laughs> I'm. I'm missing it still. And skeleton yeah. ribs. Skeleton. Oh, that was not your best. Oh. I mean, but you, I think you're really funny. I smelled no. what you were stepping in. That Thanks. wasn't good. Yeah. Three for the road. That's three minutes rapid fire questions. Okay. Three, two, Don't get stressed. You'll be great. One. Uh, you have a one that got away. No. No. Mm -hmm. You ever kept your socks on during sex? Yes! No! My feet are cold! <laughs> Fuck that! <laughs> uh, we need to blow some steam, what do you do? Drink? Uh, play video games? <laughs> Best fast food french fries? McDonald's. McDonald's, yeah. Yeah. How often do you call your parents? Every day. Three times a week? Okay. Favorite YouTube video? Oh, that's so hard. Ouch, Charlie. It really hurts. Oh, that's, that's a it? really yeah. good one. That's really cute. Yeah. That's a really good one. Um, I'm going to go with, uh, I'll go classic and say what what in the butt. I like the one where the, the dog is chasing, the, the goose is chasing the dog around the thing. <laughs> yeah. Just, I love that. Wait, he's really shitting on the toilet. Sitting on the toilet. <laughs> sitting on the toilet. And flush. That was, I like that one better. Do you have stickers on your car? No. No. Good. Uh, can a, can a guy dirt. with chest hair wear a deep V? Yeah. Uh, depends how much. Do you wear your... <laughs> oh, there's a lot of it. Uh, do you read your horoscope? No. Not really. Have you ever been arrested? No. Yes. Ooh! Yeah! Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. Um, uh, are all girls crazy? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All people are crazy. <laughs> so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just clarify that question. All people are crazy. What do you, what do you want on your gravestone? <laughs> Nothing because I'm living forever. Uh, a cool ass chick. I don't know. <laughs> really, Hirsch? Come on. Fine. Super, super hero extraordinaire. I don't know. Uh, best celebrity impression. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I do a Stan Lee one. one. Fourteen. Uh, 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 that was your Stan what Lee. Is your Stan Lee? That's brutal. We're coming up in a minute. Give me something. Uh, I'll do uh, Fran Drescher. Uh, I folded under. Right. Would you rather Taylor Swift or Adele write you a breakup song? 
Taylor Swift. Okay, and T Swift. Uh, have you ever won concert tickets from the radio? No. no. Uh, pay for cable or a cord cutter? Cord cutter. Cord cutter. On a scale from one to ten, how bad is your road rage? Two. Depends on the city. <laughs> Most money you've ever spent on a bar tap? Thirty-nine seconds. <laughs> Too much. Probably uh, like five fifty. Um, more. I'm gonna say like a thousand or whoa. something. Whoa! <laughs> uh, your favorite ice cream? Thirty seconds. Cookie dough. Um, but half you, baked. Oh. Half baked. Uh, Goodfellas or Godfather? Godfather. Go. Goodfellas. Uh, Tom Selleck or Burt Reynolds? Uh, Tom Selleck. Tom Selleck, yeah. Uh, do you still call Shaka? Sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Queso dipper guacamole. Ten seconds. Guacamole. Guac. Uh, comedy or drama? Comedy. Drama. Do you have any Canadian friends? No. No. Favorite Olympic sport to watch? Figure skating. Soap or body wash? Um, gymnastics. Soap. A body wash. So good body wash, Christian Hirschberger, Roxy Stryer, guys. Look how really tall. Ah! I don't feel like I was true to myself the whole time. I, I, I don't know, man. I'm telling you, three minutes, it goes fast. Hey guys, thanks for watching this episode of The Josh McCuga Show. We release episodes every other Wednesday, so subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Go to Facebook, I'm also there. Support our Patreon campaign. If you're watching the Josh McCuga Show, you're doing something right. And that something right is giving random people hugs when they don't want them.